Hi, welcome to Nepal Digital Education. Today in this video series, we are going to start the numericals of pressure of class 10. But before solving this numerical problem, let us look at the topic. Our topic is pressure. So, first of all, we have to understand about this topic. So, we all know that pressure is defined as a force per unit area. And mathematically, it is given by P equal to F by A. But this is not our topic today because in this series, we are going to start the numericals and we have taken some give reason also, which is very, very important for your CE exam. So let us look at our problem first. Which one is, which one is sal solution out of a and B. So, so before solving this problem, first of all, understand, understand uh, this topic. Conditions, conditions that determine the sinking or floating of a body. Means we have the first condition when the weight of body is more than the of thrust, the body sink. So this is our first case. This is our first case. First case means when the weight of the body is more than the of thrust, the body sink in the fluid. So this is our first case. Body is sinking because the density uh, it happen when the density of the body is greater than the liquid. So in first the body that is you no know, egg. So the density of egg is more than the density of this liquid. So it is sinking. And our second case is when the weight of body is equal to the of thrust, the body float below the surface of the fluid. It happens when the density of body is equal to the density of liquid. So this is our second case. Second case means when this object and this liquid density are equal then then the body float below the surface of fluid so this is our second case so let us look at the third case when the weight of the body is less than the of thrust the body float partially above the surface of the fluid it happen when the density of the body is less than the liquid so this is our third case in this case body body is floating but body float partially above the surface of the fluid this is due to density of body less than the liquid so this is the condition of sinking or floating so from this we conclude that a body sink when the density of body is greater than the density of liquid and this uh, body float when when the uh, density of the body is less than the density of the liquid but in floating there are two condition means when the density of liquid and object are equal then it float below the surface of the liquid when the density of the body less than the liquid so it float partially above the surface of the fluid so this is the condition of sinking or floating but our pro problem is which one is the salt solution out of a and b so obviously this is no this uh, a is salt solution this is uh, our A and B. So this A is salt solution. This is salt solution, salt solution. Because the density of hair egg is less than the density of the solution. So it is floating. Because we uh, know that the density of salt solution is more than the density of this ordinary water. So this water has more density. So egg is what? 
here floating density density of egg is less than the density of water so in this case egg is floating so this uh, a is salt solution let us look at the next problem problem number two in the given figure weight of a stone inside water is 9 newton so the weight of this stone inside this water is 9 newton and water displaced by a stone is 2 newton and this displaced water is 2 newton then what is the actual weight of a stone and which principle is this experiment based on so this experiment based on Archimedes principle and uh, this principle state that when a body is wholly or partially immersed in a liquid it experiences an upthrust which is equal to the weight of liquid displaced by it so it means that when a body is wholly or partially partially immersed in a liquid then it experiences what upthrust upthrust means upwarded force so and this upthrust is equal to weight of liquid displaced but in first we have to find the actual weight of a stone so let us look at this diagram what is the actual weight of this stone so we all know that upthrust is equal to the weight of liquid displaced so upthrust equal to weight of liquid is displaced and upthrust equal to w1 minus w2 this is formula which is given by Archimedes and this w1 is weight of a stone in air this weight of a stone in air and here this is w1 w1 and this is what w2 and this is upthrust weight of liquid displaced so this w this upthrust u equal to w1 minus w2 so in first we have to find the what is the actual weight of a stone so we have to find the weight of the this stone so this stone means we have to find the w1 so w1 is given by upthrust equal to weight in water so from this from from this first equation we can write this w1 this w1 equal to upthrust plus w2 so upthrust is 2 newton and weight in water is 9 newton so it become 2 plus 9 11 newton so this is the required weight of the stone let us look at the next problem problem number three study the given figure and answer the following question so in first what is the upthrust upthrust acting on the stone immersed in water so we have to find the upthrust and we know that upthrust equal to weight of liquid displaced so here liquid displaced is 5 newton so our required value is 5 newton next on which principle is the given experiment based so it is based on Archimedes principle and this principle state that when the body is partially wholly merged in a liquid it experiences an upthrust which is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by it but right only this uh, it is based on Archimedes principle it is not necessary to state but uh, no, uh, it state that means when uh, object is wholly or partially merged in a liquid then it experience what upward force that is of thrust which is equal to the uh, equal to the displaced liquid so uh, that is of thrust equal to weight of liquid displaced and uh, what is the weight of the stone in air so what is the weight of this stone in air so suppose this is no a stone what is the weight of a stone in air 
so we we know that no of thrust equal to weight of liquid displaced and it is also given by w1 minus w2 this w1 is weight of a stone in air and this w2 is weight in water so we have the of thrust value 5 no of thrust value 5 and we have this weight in water is 20 so we have this value 20 so we can easily get the value of w1 so we can write this w1 equal to this of thrust plus plus of thrust plus this weight in water so of thrust is what 5 newton and this is 20 newton so it become 25 newton so this is the required weight of the stone so let us look at the problem number four the different weight of piece of stone on wedging in three different media air fresh water and salt solution are given in the table answer the following question by observing given table so we have three different medium x y z and x weight is 12 newton y 18 newton and z 14 newton and we have to identify water air and salt solution among x y z before solving this question first of all we must have the idea about water air and salt solution we must have the idea about this air water and salt solution so so we we know that air does not experience of thrust but water water and salt salt solution this both experience what of thrust which is given by what v d and g from this we can write this of thrust is directly proportional to density and the density of density of this salt solution density of salt solution density of salt solution is greater than density of water so in the previous video in question number one we already clear the concept of this floating and sinking condition means here the density of salt solution is greater in this case then in this case body what float but when the density of water is less than the density of substance so the density of this salt solution is greater than the density of water so so in this case the density of salt solution greater so the object what float in this liquid but in ordinary water it sink because here we know that of thrust direct proportional to density so the density of water is more so it experience more of thrust more of thrust means it is it have less weight so this 12 newton is salt solution and this 12 x is salt solution and this z z is water so let us look at the next problem if the weight of 1 kg mass in air is 10 newton what will be the mass of the given stone so so weight of the stone in air is 18 newton so it is so it is what 18 newton weight of stone uh, stone of weight 18 newton has has mass 1 kg is given here 1 kg mass in air is 10 newton so 
a stone weighing uh, weighing one newton one newton has mass one by it become one by ten ten newton has mass one kg so one newton has one by ten kg therefore a stone of weight eighty newton has one by ten into eighteen kg so it become one point eight kg so this is the required mass of the given stone next find the of thrust experienced by the stone we know that of thrust equal to weight of liquid displaced and liquid displaced is given by w1 minus w2 means weight in air minus weight in water so weight in air is 18 and water is 14 so here we have 18 newton minus water 14 newton so it become 4 newton so this is the required of thrust experienced by the stone let us look at the next problem problem number 5 an effort of 100 newton can raise a load of 2000 newton in a hydraulic press calculate the cross sectional area of a small piston in it the cross sectional area of large piston is 4 meter square so before solving this question we must have the idea about hydraulic press what is hydraulic press this hydraulic press is based on the pascal's law and simply this hydraulic press is a machine which convert a small force into large force means we all know that pascal's law state that pressure is transmitted equally in all directions when pressure is applied at a point on a liquid contained in a closed vessel it means that when we apply means uh, pressure in an enclosed vessel then it transmit uh, pressure in equally in all direction like when we applied pressure then transmit pressure equally in all direction so from pascal law we conclude that p1 equal to p2 equal to p3 equal to what pn so according to this law all pressures are equal so in this case we have hydraulic press where there is a small piston and large piston a small piston and large piston so a small piston suppose a small piston force f1 is 100 newton and we have to find the area here area of a small piston we have to find the area of a small piston and large piston large piston f2 is given 2000 newton and area is given 4 meter square so according to pascal's law because this hydraulic press is based on pascal's law hydraulic lead press brake these all are based on pascal's law so according so according to according to pascal's law p1 equal to p2 so this p1 is given by f1 by a1 equal to f2 by a2 so solve it so f1 is f1 is 100 so this f1 is Hundred. We have to find the a one. F two is two thousand, and area two is four. Just do cross multiplication. This equal to two thousand into a one. Hundred into four. Four hundred divide two thousand a one. It is in multiplication so it comes in division so divide this you will get 0.2 so this is the required area that is 0.2 and the unit of area is 
meter square so this is the required area of a small piston let us look at the next problem problem number six study the given table and answer the following question we have four substances with their densities if volume of all substances is equal which substance has a greater mass so we know that density is given by mass per unit volume just by doing cross multiply we get mass equal to dv here volume of all substance is equal so we can write here mass is directly proportional to density so which substance has greater mass greater mass means we need more density directly proportional means if density is more mass is also more if density is less so mass is also less so we need greater mass so yox has greater density so which substance has the greater mass so yox has greater mass Le next among the substance in the table which substance sink in water sink in water so this one gram per cm cube is the density of water so we know that object sink when when density is more than more than one so here in this case more than one is yox so among the substance yox what yox sink in water because the density of density of yox is more than the density of y that is water so it sink and and this both what float because 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 0 0.8 and 0 0.9 this is less than what one so it float it float and yox sink sink in water next among the given given substances name the substances that gives the least of thrust least of thrust we know that of thrust is given by v d g v is volume d is density and g is acceleration due to gravity so here we can write of thrust is directly proportional to density directly proportional we need least of thrust means least of thrust means least density so least density is this w 0 0.8 so w among the given substance w gives the least of thrust because it has what less density that is 0 0.8 let us look at the next problem problem number seven the ice made of water float the ice made of water float on water why because we know that the density of ice is less than the density of water so it float because the density of ice is density of ice is 0 0.917 gram per cm cube but the density of water is 1 gram per cm cube so ice made of water float on water which instrument is so in the figure this is hydraulic press if cross sectional area of piston a piston a area is 40 cm square 
and that a piston B is 4 meter square what load is necessary on piston B so we have to find F2 to balance 600 Newton force kept on piston A so F1 is 600 Newton so now first of all change this in meter square because the SI unit of area is meter square so we know that 1 cm 1 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter we have to change centimeter to meter centimeter to meter so divide with 100 means 40 divide 100 but we have 2 cm so divide 2 times so it become 0 0.004 meter square so this is our required area a1 so this instrument is based on pascal's law so according to pascal's law p1 equal to p1 equal to p2 pressure 1 equal to pressure 2 so pressure 1 is given by f1 by a1 and pressure 2 f2 by a2 f1 and f1 is 600 a1 is 0 0.0 0 0.004 you have to we have to find the value of you have to and a2 is given 4 so 600 it is in divide so it comes in multiplication here we have 0 0 4 equal to you have to just solve it you have to equal to 600 into 4 first of all multiply it so it become 2400 divide 0 0.004 so required answer is 0 and 6 and 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 0 we can also write this in centrifuge form that it tends 6 into 10 to the power 5 and the unit of force is newton so this is the required force let us look at the next problem problem number 8 the different weight of piece of a stone on wedging in three different media air fresh water and salt water are given in the table answer the following question by observing the given table so we have three medium p q r p 25 newton q 30 newton r 20 newton weight so uh, which should be water and which one the solution common salt we have already solved related to this problem in question number four so we have the idea about air water and common salt so we know that air does not experience of thrust but liquid experience what of thrust that is here we have water and common salt both experience of thrust so it has less weight than air so this 30 newton is air medium so 30 newton the weight of object in air but in common salt and water we have you no know, density of common salt is more than the density of water so so the weight become less in common salt so the weight of common salt is 20 newton and water is 25 newton so next one is if the weight of 1 kg mass in air is 10 newton so weight of a stone in air air is uh, 30 newton so we have 30 30 newton and weight of weight stone of weight 10 newton has mass 1 kg 1 kg so stone weighting 1 newton has so 
10 newton here 10 newton has 1 kg mass so 1 newton has 1 by 10 kg 10 kg so therefore a stone weighing 30 newton has mass 1 by 10 into 30 we know unitary method no so when we divide 30 divide 10 we get 3 kg so this is the required mass of piece of stone so next one is find out the mass of water displaced by piece of stone so we know that of thrust is weight of liquid displaced of thrust is weight of liquid displaced and this is given by w1 minus w2 w1 is weight of a stone in air minus weight in water so we have w1 w1 means weight of stone in air so in air is 30 newton so we have weight 30 30 newton and weight in water so weight in water is what 20 25 newton so here 25 newton so it become 5 newton so this is the required of thrust so thank you for watching this video